this is the card that we are going to be making today for my friend Lisa's her, it's her birthday hello this is Jennifer from paper this and that I am going to be making a birthday card for a friend of mine and I know I haven't recorded a video in a while but I have been a little bit busy but uh, and I was gonna sit down and do this and I said gee I might as well record this Okay, I am my card base is this is going to be an A2 size card, a um, four and a quarter by five and a half, and I am using um, white daisy card stock. I'm going to go ahead and do the edges in sunset. This is my second try. I had a mishap with my first one. Tried to take stuff off of the cord and couldn't do it. So I got stuck with having to start over. And you can see my towel. I really made a mess. And I've got super inked up hands all over the place. Anyhow, I am going to be angling um, I'm going to put this one down first. I'm going to be angling strips of paper here, just a couple. This paper is from the Zoe um, paper pack. Okay, and then once it's down, I flip it over. I may need to actually have to go wash my hands because I think I might have to use soap and water because I've just got, look at my hands, ink all over. My eggplant ink didn't like me this today. Okay, and then I'm going to put this green up above it, up above the orange dotted one. Again, flip it over. Cut along the edge. I certainly hope I'm on frame because I cannot see if I am or not. Then the next thing, this was about the only thing I was able to get off the card, was this bow. Oh, you get guys missed all that playing. <laughs> um, but here we go. Let's see if we could do this. And I'll explain a little bit of some of this in a moment. I need to twist so the shiny side is up. Do zoo, um, glue dots not working too well for me. So hopefully this is the last take on this. And Lisa, if you ever see this, 
If I mess up again, you're just going to have to deal with the imperfections. <laughs> I'm not remaking your card a second time. If you're wondering about this bow another video that I recorded and never got up online I got a new another toy it's a Zutter bow at all and I just love it it's got to be like the best bow making tool I've ever tried I've got one that's built into my crafter's companion thing that I haven't touched in years. See, there's still a little bit of smear mark, but that's just going to have to be there. That's from my fingers, probably. And anyhow, and I have the bow easy. But this is the bow at all. Has these pegs that come up, and you have and where you wrap your ribbon around and tie it in what they call a locking C. But this is an awesome tool. Makes a perfect bow every time. It does not come untied. If you wanted to untie it, you'd have some difficulties. It'd be it's hard to get that to un, to untie that. Okay, now we're gonna try this again. Hopefully, I get a better imp impression. That ink mark's just gonna have to. Just gonna have to be there. Now I need to find out where my eggplant ink went. Um, there goes my phone. Put just a, a second. My voice, the voicemail. Anyhow, that smudge is, normally would not bother me, but Lisa's a crafter too. She does scrapbooking and paper crafts. Hopefully she doesn't judge it too bad. I don't think she will. But um, I use the Seaside Greening Collection D1609. And I just used this Birthday Wishes stamp from it. I am going to do add some other things, I think. Um... I did not plan this card. I was pretty much winging it the whole time. <clears throat> I had a general idea what I was going to do, but not completely. I, I have some little gems here. I think maybe I'll use... I'm thinking about green. Here. This lighter green. Okay, to help disguise that little smudge mark a little bit. And this here was silver and I colored it with alcohol markers.
I still need something here. I kind of wish I had, um, orange. I think orange would be pretty down here. I need something right there. I'm sorry that this video is probably boring you to death, but it's like, I need something. I've got some sparkle here. I think I'll use one of these. This is also from Close to My Heart. This is Sparkles Flourishes. And that is Z1812. I'm going to use this one down here. But I want it colored. I don't want it clear. Clear just doesn't go with the color scheme here. I need to find... Um, see, one of my alcohol markers will suffice wild plum I think I'm going to use and everything's starting to get a mess in here because I can't reach everything I've got to um, bring the, take the drawer out of my little drawer holder thing and bring it down and put it on the side desk. See, I need One of these. I was going to use one of my markers, but I decided not to.
Oh, this covers really quick. Go ahead and put my alcohol ink away. Now comes the fun part. And I'm thinking that maybe my cricket spatula. Start lifting this off. I think I like that. So next thing is I got to adhere down my this to the base. I really didn't want to do that until I knew I've got I had the front Okay, to make sure I didn't have to start over again. If it was too big of a disaster, I would have started over again. I miss the old mats that you can... Um, really put down and really measure really well. And anyhow, the oh, the ink that I was using was the eggplant. And that's what I got all over my hands. The paper's also eggplant. Um, along with the Zoe paper pack and White Daisy. But that's it for my card. And I'm just going to go ahead and um, put something inside. I am so done with ink today. I'm going to lay this down. Inside. Just so I have something easy to write on. And... That will be it, and I thank you for watching.